Hello and welcome to my channel, Mommy Shishi Baby. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you're new and joining my channel, I appreciate you stopping by and I hope you decide to stick around. My family calls me Mommy Shishi and Baby, but you can call me Shia. Today's video, we are going to be joining the hashtag what's in my purse. And so I just wanted to kind of go through what's in this heavy, heavy purse of mine, y'all. My purse is nothing spectacular. I actually got it from a um, store that we have out here called Payless Shoes. And it was on sale. I actually got it for like $10. It was on sale and it was originally like, I think 20 or $29.99. I don't know. Um, but I got it on sale and I just wanted to go through with you guys today what is actually going on in this heavy heavy purse of mine i have so much unnecessary stuff in here it's not even funny i'm a little bit embarrassed to show you but let's just go through it i'm gonna i have this little uh, bag attached to it that came with it and that just sticks down into this side pocket there's nothing in that side pocket but let's just see what's in the bag lady items some headphones for my iPhone. So we have those things. That's what's in my little pouch. And this purse does not have that side pocket that most purses come with. And so, yeah, I don't have that. But we have my journal. I don't know why I'm carrying it around with me. Well. Because I, I don't think I'm going to really be like journaling outside of the house. But I have my journal, which I just made and posted a video about the other day. And so certainly go and take a look at that if you're interested in seeing how I made this journal. And so I have that. And I am, I, I do like using the ring bound system. So I have that for my journal. And that's in my bag. I just did it like two days ago. And so I've been holding on to it really tightly. Then I have my planner my um, happy planner planner and as you can see this is pretty thick and it's super heavy and I do walk around with this I'm contemplating whether or not I want to create my own planner with printables or possibly even make my own and put it in this size instead which is eight rings versus nine and this is like custom so they don't have anything that's eight rings but I, I really like this size so much smaller look So I'm contemplating doing that. I don't know if I would use the same size rings that's in my current planner or not. So might as well just pull these things out and get it out of the way. This is y'all where my embarrassment comes in. These are the things that I have just sitting in a purse. I have so many writing utensils in here it's a little insane i i don't i use them granted i do like I, I use them i like switching my colors up i like switching the type of pencil i just got this pack yesterday and i really like it i have another pack of similar um the fine point pens as well coming but this one is the paper made flares and they are the velvet tip pens but they're like that fine line pen and so i like the fine line pens because it helps me to be able to write smaller when i need to so i have a pack of these in here and i'm going to explain to y'all why i have these all these different packs of pens and stuff okay so in here i'm just show y'all exactly what i'm working with i have a problem <laughs> i have a real stationary problem I'm addicted to stationery. It's ridiculous. These are the pens and highlighters that are inside of this pouch. And I keep them in there and I keep them in my purse because I do use them a lot. I just like switching back and forth between colors and the style of pen that I use. So I have, these are definitely, you know, I don't like ballpoint pens at all. I love gel pens and I like felt tip pens and so I have this flare as well and these are the medium point these are the fine point ones and these are the medium point flares and I have like half of these pens are flares the other half of them are my gel pens and they're all paper made clearly I have a thing for paper made that I didn't even know 
I did. I use other pens too. I like the the Walmart. I don't know if it's a Walmart brand, but that's the only store I've seen it in. It's called Scribble. I have some of those, and they're like over there in my um, crafting area, crafting art office, whatever you want to call it. They're over there. Then I have some highlighters in here, my little cheap Sharpies. So I have those in here, and I use those sometimes because their colors are like really bright and bold. Whenever I want something bright and bold to highlight with, I use those. So those are my pens that I have in my purse. Then I have this bag, which also has highlighters. These highlighters are so bomb. I love them so much, y'all. These are the Malliner highlighters, and they are so pretty. I just love the pastel colors in the shades that they come in and how many different shades there are. They are so nice. I really, really enjoy using these pens, yeah, these um, highlighters, y'all. These are the Malliner highlighters. So we got those. I think that's all the pens and highlighters that I have inside of my purse. <laughs> Told y'all, it's a little embarrassing. All right, what else do we have in here? Um, okay, so yeah, I went to um, Target on my lunch break yesterday and I gave my daughter a pair of my earrings, which I don't even have any in right now, but I gave my daughter a pair of my earrings and so I picked up some more. These are like my favorite um, stud earrings, y'all. I love them so much. I think they are like so pretty. They're comfortable in my ears and they're not heavy and they aren't causing me sensitivity issues and they're nickel free because apparently I have a nickel allergy. And then I have this, it's um by the same brand, A New Day, which is a Target brand and I bought these as well. And so got two pairs, two packs of, of earrings. And I also got them fla these flares from my Target when I was in there. I just haven't taken these out of my purse and put them in my in my um, jewelry box yet. So I have those and I'll keep those in the bag because I don't want the pieces to fall all over the place. Then um, I don't think I would be a mom if I didn't have tissues just in my purse randomly. So I have some tissues in my purse. And I have, oh, these actually I got from the doctor's office yesterday, but I was in there with my daughter. Just grabbing my tissue box, tissues. And also I have some lotion. It is one of my favorite scents, which is lavender. And it's like um, someone, it was a small like boutique shop that I got it from where it's like made homemade um, with natural ingredients with um lavender oil it has it says sweet almond oil coconut oil castor oil those are the types of oils that it has in it and then it has the lavender essence oil in it as well it smells so good y'all and it's like super moisturizing it doesn't leave you dry at all i love it um, my husband got that for me and i have to get him to contact the lady who actually owns the little boutique and get some more then I also have something I often forget, which is my work badge. This is my work badge for my job. And finally, last but not least, I have my purse. Now this is the bag that I was carrying initially. I got this from Charming Charlie and it's perfect because when I don't wanna walk in the store with this huge bag, I walk in the store with this instead and it just makes life so much simpler for me. I usually just take this around and this is full of stuff I'm telling you I'm gonna go through it with you so I have a little front um, have three zipper compartments in it on the outside and then there's one zipper compartment in the last big pack in the back so we have all of my cards of different sorts that I need to filter through to actually see what's what and what I need to throw out I have this, which I have been meaning to take out of my purse for a very long time. And uh, it's um, I usually used to get the empty bags. I stopped my subscription because they just started sending me a lot of stuff that I didn't really like or use or want. So I stopped my subscription, but I um got this out of my empty bag one at one point. It's called Girl Power. I think the color is okay. It's a mauve color. 
but I don't really wear a whole lot of makeup very often. And so you might see me wearing that every once in a while. Then we got some balled up receipts because like I said before, who would I be if I didn't have a receipt or two in my purse? Who would I be? I got more than a receipt or two. I actually have a lot. I mean, this is trash. <laughs> I don't need it. I typically don't have cash, but right now I have some little change going on in my purse. A little change purse. This is one of my favorite lipsticks to wear. I have this lipstick in there. It is MAC, and it is the Ruby Woo lipstick by MAC. I really, really like it a lot. I'm gonna show you what the color looks like. And it's a matte color. I really love this one a lot. So I got that. And y'all, I know you see me like throwing my hand up when I'm putting something close to the screen. And that's because I tried to do that on one of my previous videos and just hold it up there and I realized that you could see nothing. I also put my ring light in a different location so i hope this video is lit well and that the glare is not on my glasses because i noticed where i had it at was perfect for lighting but my glasses had glares and it was annoying it was annoying for me to watch so i know it probably annoyed other people too so i moved it if you catch like a little glimpse of a glare in my glasses it probably is only now and again we'll see after this video ends um as this is a test run of how that will work Another receipt. Usually, I'm horrible about taking receipts out of my purse. And so, I'm surprised I only have found three so far. Oh, here's another receipt. There's four. There is four. Y'all, I went to um, take my doctor to her endocrinologist appointment, and that was what that receipt was for. On yesterday, yeah, on yesterday, and I lost my parking ticket, y'all. And the way it works there is that if you're coming to NBC, you can have a ticket validated for parking. That way you don't have to pay for parking, y'all. I lost my ticket. I was so sick. It was cold outside. I could have gone back in with the receipt to get it validated and then get a refund, but... I was cold. I was not trying to keep going in and out of the parking garage to go like walk so far with my daughter to go and do all of that. So I just paid it. It was $8 instead. I had to pay for it because I had lost my receipt. I have, I love mascara guys. I wear a lot. Of, I, I, if I don't wear anything else, if you don't see me with any other makeup on, when I do wear makeup, I'm going to have some mascara on. And right now I have and these all came out of my Ipsy bags. I have not had to buy mascara for a long time. Um, and I actually have found that the Ipsy bags, they helped me decide a lot of the mascaras that I liked a lot. And I found that, I don't even know, Dose, D-O-U-C-C-E it looks like. This is a really good mascara. It's called Punk Volumizer Mascara. It really, really helps your eyelashes look plump and long i love this one so i got this in my purse and then i have this tarte mascara called lights <laughs> lights camera lashes um this one i've had for a while it's probably nothing in here and i probably need to throw it away and one day i'll use it and find out and then i'll throw it away <laughs> so i have that and then i have this one i don't even know i probably only use this like once i don't even remember how it did and this one is by Brian, B-R-Y-N-N, -N, or Bryn, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what half of these companies are, y'all. I'm not that, I'm not a makeup guru. And this one's Rich Black. It's called Liquid Last Extension Mascara. And, oh, it's by Thrive Cosmetics. And they spell cosmetics, calls, C-A-U-S-E, medics. How cool. Yep, so I got this one. That's in my purse. We have, oh, this is the other thing I wear. It's not makeup. I don't, I don't consider it makeup. 
handy dandy this is like one of the only thing that works for my lips a lot of i have eczema and so a lot of the things that i wear i have to be careful because one day it'll be like fine and then a couple of days later i have a whole eczema patch just going across my lip because it i had a reaction from whatever lip product i used so carmex is always my go-to i love it it works wonders uh let's see Makeup back in that pocket. Um, then I have this, which also came out of my Ipsy bag. I'm, and y'all, the reason why I have a lot of Ipsy stuff in my purse is because when I did that bathroom re re declutter, and um, that's a video posted uh, about that too. And I'll try to link the videos that I'm mentioning in so that you'll be able to just go to them directly if you like. But this is something that I got out of one of my Ipsy bags and it was just stuck in my drawer in my bathroom uh, that I decluttered. It's called Orza Beauty Dew Glow Balm. And y'all, I don't like it at all. I don't even know why I still have it in my purse. It's it's like it's almost like a Vaseline texture. But I don't know. It just does not do it for me. It says it has vitamin E and rice bran oil in it. Whatever that is. But yeah. I don't like this at all. <laughs> got me some Purell hand sanitizer, of course. Who doesn't? I have this. I got. I think I got this from Michaels, if I'm not mistaken. And this is just a little compact mirror. It's just the mirror itself. So I have this little compact mirror. I thought it was super cute. And this nail starting to have the um, little beads fall off of it but i don't even use it to be honest because like i said it's rare that i actually have enough makeup on to have to look at myself to make sure it's right <laughs> oh i traded a pen with my stepmom and this is the pen she gave me back my brother attends this school this university and so i have this pen which i'm keeping it because it's his school and then i got this for uh, from my um, oldest son, Little Rodney, for Christmas. And it says, Mom, you're simply amazing. And this is another little compact mirror. So I have that. It's just a mirror. Then I have this lady that I buy oils from. Look, got a <laughs> chewing gum wrapper. I have this lady at work that I buy oils from and over the summer my favorite was this one that she sold it was it's called Aquilina sweet me and it's probably somebody's real like expensive perfume that she just put in oils instead and oils tend to last very long as far as the fragrance on your skin um, and I really like the fact that they're super inexpensive I pay like five dollars for this instead of paying like twenty dollars for a whole big a whole bottle so I have this one. I don't use this one right now, but I used it a lot over the summer and I thought it smelled really good on my skin. Have y'all ever noticed that different fragrances, different colognes, different body sprays smell differently on different people? I have noticed that. And I wonder if anybody else has felt the same way about things. It's like something you would smell, may smell good on you, but not good on somebody else and vice versa. And typically it's the other way around with me. Like I'll smell something on someone else and be like, oh, I like that. And then I'll go and try it. And then I'm like, oh, it's not mixing with my pheromones at all. <laughs> at all. Well, and so um, it's crazy how our pheromones do alter the way that fragrances smell on us. So right now my favorite is the this one that she gave me and i went and i smelled the real thing and it smells the same and so i'm gonna go and pick this up while they have this probably awesome uh winter long sale going on at bath and body works but i like this one it's called beautiful and it's by bath and body works um but this is the oil again and it's like really cheap for me to have purchased this and um, I get these from her instead sometimes. I like supporting small businesses, number one. And number two, her oils are bomb. They are. So I like them. Um, so I got these two in my purse. I have some more oils upstairs, but these are the ones that I had in my purse. I cannot wait to go into Bath and Body Works and participate in some of this um, holiday sales items. Finally, I have the spare key to my husband's car, which I have to keep in my purse and not on my key ring because 
It's broken. Awesome. Oh, wow, y'all. Guess what? Who didn't know she had some cash in her purse? She did not know she had some cash in her purse. Guess what? I got me some dollars. <laughs> I had no idea I had this cash in that zip-up purse. I'm, I'm not mad. What was that? Chick-fil-A. Okay. So, another receipt. And we got $6. Did I count that right? Yeah, we got $6 in cash that I did not know I had. So, got some cash floating around here. I'll probably put this in my little piggy bank I have upstairs. And then I have all of my other cards. Just a whole bunch more cards. And let's see. A beauty supply store card. A finish line. A winter circles card. Winter circle card. Got my top golf card. Somebody's business. And then we got some insurance cards. 7-Eleven card, more insurance cards, more insurance cards. <laughs> um, my kids' um, school things, like my kids' school IDs with their pictures on them. Show you the pictures. Their little school ID pictures. Like they, uh, school gives these. It's called Safe Smile. They give these pictures out. To you, if, even if you don't buy the packages, which I typically don't. I said I was going to do it this year, but I didn't. Um, so that way, if you like, if something happens to your kid, you have a picture to be able to reference what they look what they look like with the law enforcement. So y'all, my purse actually is not as bad as it has been in the past. I feel like it's pretty organized now. Like I said, I'm super embarrassed about the amount of ink pens that I have. I'm taking that out. The amount of ink pens that I have in my bag. I'm embarrassed about it, but I need them all. And so guess what? They are going to stay. I'm going to keep them in there. I'm not taking them out. <laughs> my purse is heavy. When I get tired of it being heavy, then I will take it out. When I probably, when I decide to change over my format for my planner which i'm so i'm like really considering doing probably going to do another video regarding my considerations on that i don't know we'll see it'll be so much easier like look look how small this look how small it is for me to have that eight ring smaller ring one in here than it is for me to have this huge one the classic size in here i don't know y'all i'm really considering and then I was thinking about doing something else too. I'm gonna I'm gonna have another video and I'll just show y'all what I'm talking about with that. But yeah. I think I got some plans in the making for my planner. So if you like my planner videos, just stay on the lookout for another one coming soon regarding what I'm gonna do. It's a little depressing because my idea is like so different from what I had planned to do for 2019. But if you like my video, I certainly, certainly hope that you plan to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Like this video, guys. And if you are using the app, go ahead and tap that notification bell so that you'll know when my next video is posting. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel with me on today, guys. It has been fun. I appreciate you going through my purse with me so we can kind of figure out what's what, what needs to go, what can stay. Through my embarrassment, now you know a little bit more about me, a little bit personal about my addiction to and how, how real <laughs> my stationary addiction is. It goes well, far above and beyond planners. I love stationary, guys. I really do. But thank you so much for tuning in with me today. This was fun. Like, subscribe, share, everything. Bye.